Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In today's video tutorial, I want to show an example of how to make your WordPress blog secure, HTTPS. Um, those of you that aren't familiar with this, um, you need to have a secure certificate, an SSL certificate on your website. If you don't, you're very vulnerable to attacks, you're very vulnerable to hackers stealing your private information. Um, so you really need to have this. And in years past, the reason why we saw people not have this is because it was expensive and or somewhat expensive and a little bit time consuming to set up. Well, at Name Hero, we've partnered with a company called Let's Encrypt, and they provide free SSL certificates, and it's an automated process, meaning that as long as you're a customer on Name Hero, you have free SSL certificates for all of your domains, all of your subdomains, and it's automatic. You don't have to install it yourself. You don't have to worry about going out and purchasing it and generating your keys and all that stuff that you used to have to do. It's very simple. So let me demonstrate on how you set this up. On your screen right now, you'll see HalloweenCostumeBlog.com. And this is just an example website I set up showing how to use some of the powerful features of WordPress. Um, but you can notice in the um, address bar here, you'll see a little info button and it's not secure. Um, so Google actually shows priority of sites as secure and, and most sites nowadays are secured. So if yours isn't, then you're definitely, um, you're lagging behind. So if you, um, since it's automatic and free, after you've been on Name Hero for a couple of hours, because each hour this um, process runs, um, as soon as you set up your site, it takes a little bit for the server to scan and say, well, it doesn't have an SSL certificate, then it automatically installs it. So after a couple hours of being on Name Hero, and especially if you've been on, on our service for longer than a day, you can just type in HTTPS colon backslash backslash enter, and you can notice it's secured. And you can see the connection to this site is private. And so you can even go into www as well. Um, so either way you decide to do it, you can see that your, your blog is secured. Okay, so now we have to change, we have to change some settings inside of WordPress so when people go to your blog that they actually um, see the secure site and they don't access the unsecured site. So you do this by simply logging into your WordPress, WordPress dashboard and we just have to change the way the URLs are formatted. So we're just going to go over here to settings as soon as we log in and click on general. Okay, now here we can see our site title, tagline, and our um, URLs. Okay, so what you want to do here is you want to add the S after HTTP. And then if you want, you can add www. That's personal preference. I personally prefer it. Um, if you don't, then you don't have to. Um, but I, I do like the www. And then the same for the site URL. So both of these, we're just going to change them to include HTTPS. And then again, if you want, you can add the www. And we're just going to go down here and click Save. Now, you can see that logged us out. So we are now logged out, and we would have to log back in to get to the admin area. But now if we were to go to our blog, we can go to it, and we click on Links. We can, um, we'll be brought to the new URLs instead of, um, instead of just www. And you can see right here, it takes a second to clear your cache, and then you're brought to the new secure URLs. And now when you're blogging your site, it's HTTPS. Now, if you just set this up, you may notice on some sites that there is some images and stuff that's not secure. And so if that's the case, let me show you the easy way to do that. And, and the way you can tell is it won't, it'll be an info button here instead of the secure lock. So what you can do is you can right click and go to inspect and inside of here we can go in the console and we can see mixed content um, that needs to be loaded over HTTPS. So you can see the um, images here that are brought in from a CDN. Um, so we would need to go through and make sure we change these to HTTPS. So depending how you have your site set up, um, you would need to go through and, um, and alter those. And it's, um, you know, it can be fairly simple or it can be fairly complicated. It just depends how many URLs you have. In this case, there's 45 um, because this has a lot of different images and this is doing a lot of different iframing. Um, a lot of your sites though, might just have a couple that need to be done. You can see this page is good. Um, and so it just you just have to go through each page and kind of check it out. And you want to make sure you see this lock. And you can click details and it'll say the page is secure with valid HTTPS. And you can even view the certificate if you'd like. 
But that's all there is to it. Um, you know, it's fast, easy, free. There's no, I mean, other than changing um, images, that's really the only task you have at hand. Now, if you're just setting up your site for the first time, um, set it up the right way from the beginning. You know, when you set up and install WordPress, make sure that you include HTTPS. And then when you go to log in, um, then it, it should be secured for you already. Um, you can see inside of here, if we just go and we are originally setting up WordPress, if we use HTTPS during the setup, then everything will be like that from the very beginning. And that, that's, of course, the easiest way to do it. Um, but that's how you make your WordPress site secure. And um, your admin area, you'll see also in your admin area from now on, you'll see this lock, and that's good. Um, because if you don't, then you're putting your, your entire site at risk if you're logging into this admin area without a secure certificate. So again, it's 100% free at Name Hero, and it's also free for your resellers. So those of you that um, resell our services, that have your own hosting businesses and want to offer your customers SSL, well, it's free and automatic for them as well. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support department. We'd be happy to um, you know, give you some more information about it or to check on something. Um, but that's about as simple and easy as it, as it can get. Thanks so much for watching, and congratulations on keeping your site secured.